15 a.m. Camera's getting super shaky because I am making the bottle for the baby. She was up at 5.30, but she went back to sleep. So that gave me enough time to get a shower, which is nice. Um, I really don't want to be awake right now, so I'm making myself some tea on the stove with almond milk, and hopefully I have enough time to have all of that. Have all of that. To have the almond milk boil, you know, and warm up and steep the tea before she wakes up. If she's not crying and she wakes up in the middle of this, I may just make her wait a couple minutes. This is my tea stash that has caffeine in it. So I separated them all out by whether they have caffeine or not. I think I'm gonna do this tea today. Canadian breakfast tea. I have been hoarding this tea for a really long time, really long time. Uh, so I have this box that has caffeine. I have this box that's full of herbal teas. Pull it down and show you. So all of that is herbal tea. As you can see, this whole row is just peppermint. <laughs> and then, like these are some of my favorite teas. So I tend to take teas and mix them up. Um, I don't keep them in their boxes unless it's something really specific. Like this is pomegranate raspberry, but it's the whole box of it. Um, this is womankind, that's one of my favorite teas. So that is all herbal teas. And then up here, I have some cold infused tea, my tea infusers for loose leaf tea. This is decaf, and then this is green tea. And I'll get that down in a second and show you. So this is the rest of my tea stash. This is all green tea. I have a few like green tea pods, green tea tea bags of random varieties. Up here is some white tea. Um, I, I don't have much of that, maybe like 10 or 15 total bags. It's mostly Tazo, cucumber white, and blueberry, or like berry blossom white are in here. Um, this is my decaf box. This box, actually, Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheters sent me um, a long time ago, and it had some tea in it, which I'll show you in a minute. And I saved this box because it's just so fabulous. And this is all my decaf tea. So typically, I only drink decaf or herbal tea. I don't drink caffeine tea too much caffeine tends to give me a migraine. So these are just boxes of tea that I bought. I have stashed decaf vanilla, that's a great one. This is just decaf chai. Um, decaf chocolate hazelnut, also by stash. Stash has some great decaf options. And then this is one of my favorite teas of all time. It's decaf sweet coconut Thai chai. Highly, highly recommend. And these are some decaf loose leaf teas by the tea company Adagio. Blueberry cheesecake. BB-8, it's like a fan blend, which is um, Celion, vanilla, all kinds of stuff. So that's really cool. And then in this box over here, which is actually a box that I gave Josiah a tiny pair of socks in to tell him that I was pregnant, <laughs> so I kept it as well. This is loose leaf tea. So these are loose leaf tea packets. Got some random loose leaf teas in here. This one, what is this? Ooh, antioxidant punch. This is one I got at a local like festival. I'm trying to find this is the one that Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter sent me. Ivory cable knit sweater. It's so good, so good. Um, so yeah, that's all the tea. And then back up on the shelf, I have my one box of tea that's still in its own little box. This is my favorite tea of all time, not because of the taste necessarily, although I do love the taste. But when I my allergies are acting up, or when my throat is scratchy or my, I'm sick, this is the tea that I want. I will buy several boxes of this at a time because sometimes it's hard to find. And specifically, the lemon echinacea kind. I hate the regular kind. I think it tastes horrible. The baby is up, so... <laughs> Eat my vitamins. Time to feed the baby. We're working on her holding her own bottle. Um, she will hold it for like 10 to 30 seconds and then be like, I'm sorry, why? You hold it. Hello again. She finished eating. 
my husband took her on a little bit of a walk. They like to do that in the morning as long as he can get, as long as she's up and done eating before he starts work. Um, they, try to, they try to go outside together for a bit. So I've got to tackle this pile of dishes, hopefully before they come back and drink some tea. It's probably still way too hot. Um, one thing I've noticed when I steep tea and almond milk is that sometimes there'll be afterwards a little film on top and I just kind of like dip a silicone spatula in that and it'll come right out. I don't personally want to drink that. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like the texture. Um, I noticed that it has, it doesn't do that when I use cashew milk. So maybe just something in the almond milk is making it do that. And I assume if you use regular milk, that wouldn't make it do it either. So this morning, I have to start feeding her breakfast and after her bottle. So this morning we are having some oatmeal balls. And what that is essentially is I made some oatmeal last night that she had for dinner. I put it in the fridge overnight so it's pretty like solid and hard together. And I just kind of rolled it into some balls and left it on the counter for about 30 minutes so it will come up to temperature a little bit, not be so cold. And so she can just pick those up and munch on them. We are doing baby red weaning, pretty much. Um, we are gonna do a little bit of pureed prunes because <laughs> this little baby is constipated, but she loves being able to feed herself. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. And what I am having is not enough for breakfast, but I made some banana nut muffins. Well, just banana, there's no nut. Banana muffins on Friday and I froze them so that I can pull one out anytime I need a quick snack. So I just cut it in half, put it in the toaster oven, put a little butter on it, so it's like warm and delicious. I don't want you to worry. <laughs> I mean, you maybe saw her in that last clip being like, because ah, ah, she got too much oatmeal in her mouth. She kind of broke off a big chunk of it. And I, some of you may be like, oh my God, she's choking. She's not choking. Um, she's gagging a little bit, but she's not choking. There is a difference. She was still completely in control of what was happening. She knew what to do. And so what she did is she just kind of went, ah, ah, and she got the food to the front of her mouth. Um, a lot of times when she does that, she will spit it out. But this time she actually used her tongue, moved it over to the side of her mouth, chewed it, and swallowed it. She doesn't have any teeth, so she kind of mashed it with her gums. Um, but that is great. That means she's learning how to move food around in her mouth. Um, one of the... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you laughing? She started this like laugh cough thing recently. Um, <laughs> so... 
One of the things that babies have to learn how to do is move food around in their mouth. And if they bite off too big a piece, like what the most dangerous thing you can do is actually like rush in and try to stick your finger in their mouth because then they might suck it down their throat and take in a big breath. She was completely fine. Her eyes didn't even water. She was just like, whoa, that's too big and got it out and then chewed it and then swallowed it. So, great. As you can see, she gets pretty darn messy, which is really difficult for me. That's like something I do not like at all, but I know it's good for her to be involved with the food. It will turn her into not me. I have a problem with mini textures of mini foods. I don't like things touching me, like all that kind of stuff. So it's good for her to be exposed to all the different kinds of foods and to get messy and to be okay with that. <laughs> And I am working on being okay with that too. I wanted to show you this handy dandy tool. This is a nail file. It's like a grinder for baby nails. I turn it on, it has this little pad on the end. It has different pads for different ages. She's on the second pad right now. Um, it's the best way to trim her nails of all time because it just basically files off the end. I don't have to mess with nail clippers and she only lets me do like a couple nails at a time so this is going to be an all-day process but I have to keep her nails really short because she gets these really really sharp corners and she scratches and touches everything and she will scratch the crap out of her face and me for that matter so highly recommend I got this on Amazon for like $12 if you have a baby or you know someone who's having a baby get them a nail grinder they are so much better than nail clippers this tea has a lid and I still just managed to spill it all over the floor. Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly, I'm not of the man. There's a shadow hanging over me Oh, yesterday came suddenly Why she had to go I don't know, she wouldn't say Must be Something wrong now I long for yesterday, yesterday. Love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. baby just went to sleep. It's 9, 12. <laughs> I put her in the crib. She's already asleep. I've been out of there like less than a minute. So that was a win. She was awake for two hours and 40 minutes. It's the longest she's ever been awake for her first wake window. So that is huge. Maybe she's getting close to dropping that third nap. I would be delighted if that would happen because she fights the third nap every day, but she still needs it. At least she has. So we'll see what the rest of the day looks like. And now, hopefully she'll sleep for at least an hour. <laughs> Maybe she'll sleep an hour and a half, I don't know. I have to work like a mad person to get some stuff done. I've got so much work to do. It is noon and we are on our way to the baby gym. Nova slept for two hours almost. That's a crazy nap. We may be on a two nap schedule today, depending how long she sleeps for the second nap because otherwise <laughs> she'll be going down for her third nap at like 6 p.m., which is not gonna work. So we'll find out if she gets very cranky. Right now she's in a great mood, even though she has the hiccups. She's in the back seat, of course. So the baby gym is like this little soft play area. Um, it's indoors. You have to have a membership to it, which I got specifically because she hasn't been around a lot of other babies. She's only been with me. And so they have a baby class once a week that she just loves. 
but they have open playtime several times a week as well where I can go with her and she can climb on everything and practice crawling and do all of that. So that's where we're on our way to. It's a soft play for kids five and under. And she's eight months almost. Gosh, she's almost eight months this week. She'll be eight months old, that's crazy. So we're gonna do that for a bit. I got so much done while she slept for two hours. So I feel very accomplished. And then on her next nap, hopefully she'll sleep for at least an hour, hour and a half then I'll get way more done then as well. That is a hard thing about, <laughs> hi baby. <laughs> it's a hard thing about having a baby with you all the time and trying to work and I know many of you are going through the same thing. I want her with me and I love it. And at the same time, it's so hard to get anything done. Um, and there's no break. Like when she sleeps, I work like a crazy person to try and pack stuff in. So before she wakes up, <laughs> Uh, during nap time, after she goes to bed, I'm working, which just, it's kind of never ending. So just on and on, like I'm either working with her or I'm working when she's sleeping and there's never really an end point to it. So that's kind of difficult, but still better to have her with me, I think, than to have her anywhere else. What time at the baby gym? Are you so tired? Oh, look at those tired eyes. <laughs> sauteed celery before just to eat by itself. We had a bunch of celery because I had to buy some for a recipe and of course you can't buy just like two stalks of celery. So I had a whole bag that we need to use up and Nova's never had celery before so I don't really have anything to mix in it. So I'm just sauteing it with some spices. We'll see if she likes it. Today will not be the day <laughs> that we go from three naps to two naps because this baby only slept for 40 minutes and woke up promptly. And so definitely I can't put her to bed for the night at 5 p.m. So we're gonna have to have another nap, probably a 15 minute cat nap, which is gonna be a giant bite to get her to take so that she can make it until bedtime. And we are outside on the grass now. We just had a little bit of prune juice to help the tum tum process all that food and get it out in the form of poop. I've never, <laughs> I never would have thought that I would want her to poop as much as I do, <laughs> but she's been constipated. So we're trying to avoid this situation. We had to run inside very quickly and she got very upset because it started thundering. It's not raining, but it's thundering and lightning and we had to run inside very quickly so that we would be safe.
Do you want me to get you? This is the baby's dinner. We have chicken, mashed potatoes with some finely minced celery, and then we have some zucchini spears. These and these she can just pick up and munch on, and of course this will, she can either pick up with her hand and eat, or we can give it to her on a spoon. She's gonna get a few more minutes to sleep, and then it's dinner time. because I can never properly close my vlogs at night. <laughs> it's about nine in the morning, Nova's sleeping for her first nap. I made myself some strawberry cheesecake tea and I have some fresh strawberries that I just cut up. I'm gonna try and get some work done. I'm not feeling great today. My stomach is hurting and I didn't sleep very well. So like this is like a repeat of yesterday. Yesterday I was so tired, today I'm even more tired and I'll be up pretty late tonight, I have a meeting, so we'll see. Um, but hopefully it was fun to check in, fun to see Nova, and um, I will see you all next time, probably Saturday, when I upload the next podcast. Bye, friends.